him with uh, Jeffrey Smith of Smule. Just had a nice brownie. <laughs> We're under the radar. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Bambi, how are you? Good, good. You're going to tell us a little bit about the new app that you just that you launched several days ago. And uh, so tell us a little bit about that and how it's, uh, how it's being adopted. Great. It's nice to see you. So Smule <laughs> was founded over the summer. We've launched four applications on the phone. We're a leader in Sonic Media, an application category we characterize as allowing people to express themselves over sound and to engage with one another over a growing sonic network through sound. The application we launched on Thursday has already climbed to the number one paid application, and it appears most of the application stores across the world, including, of course, America, but also France, Denmark, Spain, and a number of stores. So uh, These are Apple stores. Correct. The iTunes app store. So we've been surprised with the uh, adoption of the uh, ocarina thus far. The ocarina is the first um, wind instrument on the phone. And by wind, I mean wind. Um, you play it, as you would a real flute, by blowing your phone. Should be... Uh... So here's... I'm launching the application. And there you can see the four holes of the ocarina mm -hmm. that I can pull down and touch together or apart. And do you see where it says, here, blow? So that's, that's the microphone. Mm -hmm. And so you won't be able to hear it so well here because it's, it's kind of a noisy little hall, but I'll just give you the C major scale. Yeah, you can hear it. Anyway, and so music lovers and non-music lovers all over the world now are playing their iPhone. And they're learning how to play tunes in some instances, for the first time. <laughs> now I can prove that to you. <laughs> so we have a special globe view, where if I click on the globe icon, I'm now going to give you performances around the world, real performances. So where's your microphone, Bambi? Uh, I think it's up here somewhere. Yeah. Well, anyway. So here's somebody that looks like they're playing the ocarina in, where is that? I can hear them. Oh, it's Amazing Grace, right? That's not bad. Here's another performance. This one is in... That's, that looks like a Chicago suburb, of course. Um, oh, you had a phone call. I'll decline that. Okay. Can you go find Gus? <laughs> of course, you could zoom in on the world. Yeah. If you love it, you can love it. If you don't, you hit the magic skip button. And we'll skip to the next performance. What's shocking, Bambi, is how many people are enjoying sharing their music with other people all over the world. And what's unique about this product is not only are you performing, but we're taking your performance up into the ether and then dropping it down onto every phone. Anybody could listen to you. Right. Now, we had a little problem on Saturday, I'll confess. When we first turned this application on on Thursday, we had our CPUs on our servers running at about 4%. That had grown to 40% in the first 24 hours. Wow. And when we woke up Saturday morning, uh, that was 100%. And so our servers were down. Let's see, let's see where's this person? Yeah. So this person is over in the UK. Wow, they're doing that on their iPhone. Correct. That's very cool. Actually, some of them are very good. Yeah. Needless to say, on Saturday, we went through a server upgrade process. And now we have a lot more hardware we've thrown at awesome. it because of the... Um, really the surprising adoption we've seen. What's the, can you quantify that adoption? What are you getting? All right, I'll give you a number. Sure, I want a number. Uh, we're already into the six figures now okay. for people that have downloaded and installed the, the Ocarina. And how much does that cost? It costs a dollar. A dollar? Right, so... Why did you decide to go for the pay model as opposed to just giving away for free? Like Tapulous. They give it all their stuff for, for free. Well, it looks like Capulus came back and actually changed, uh, charged for another edition of their product. Um, look, I think free is great. For us, we're interested in making money. Yeah. And moreover, we think you really can't test a value proposition unless you charge people money. And so we think the purest test of testing whether or not there's value provided is to whether or not people would actually pay money for something. And so... Not only are we selling applications, we're actually selling advertisements now um, across our applications. And in fact, we're using that as a mechanism to introduce our users to other applications that are also available from the speed. How are you? I didn't see any advertisements on that application, but do you, are your other applications maybe have advertisements? Actually, that application does have advertisements. We can prompt you for an advertisement, which we can control from a server. 
or um, if you notice when I click on the info box, there's an impression that's running right there. So that's another advertisement. Oh, wow. How much does that cost? Uh, to run that advertisement? Yeah, what's that? Well, that's our own product, so it okay. turns out running that advertisement isn't very expensive. Right. But, you but know, you could I put think, a sponsor there. Yeah, I think CPM models on the phone now are growing. Before okay. there was zero, I think CPM models are north of three, four dollars, and uh, for premium real estate like this, they're, they're higher than that. How is that? Um, how is it trying to sell those spots? Then I mean, it's a tough advertising market out there. So. Uh, well, I, uh, not not really. Um, oh, okay. The iPhone is a compelling platform, and. You know, as this economy contracts, entertainment looks like it's one of the few safe places to hang out as people spend more time at home That's and doing true. perhaps more economical things. Okay. So um, we're, we're concerned about the economy and, and what it means, but uh, uh, we, we're growing pretty fast right now. So we're pretty happy with uh, with our products and with, with Apple and with this amazing platform they've created for us to allow people to begin to express themselves in these unique ways. Are you looking for funding, or what, what's your what's your situation? I know Bessemer backed you guys. But. Yeah, David Cowan uh, invested in my last company, and uh, damn him, he pulled me out of my uh, PhD program to go do another startup. I was studying music at Stanford and was, frankly, really enjoying it. <laughs> and so I'm only doing the PhD part-time while I'm... Um, making David another pile of money. <laughs> so, uh, but he's a good guy. And he's a great investor. How much did you raise? My other friend Mike Maples invested. So the three of us, mostly Bessemer, put in a million six. Okay. And uh, yeah, we'll do another round, but uh, we're profitable right now. Yeah. So. <laughs> How many people on your team? Uh, we have 15 people. Okay. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you, Bambi.